Hi guys and welcome to my pregnancy Q&A. So I went on Instagram and I was like, ask me absolutely anything and I haven't actually looked at many of the questions yet. Is it my time to shine? It is, it really is. Oh, by the way, someone said you were radiant. It just looks. Today. Um, also, Rose is pregnant. I thought everyone knew, but some yeah. people were confused. I yeah. thought that was very obvious because of these. Yeah, let's get in. All right, let's get, get in. in. Let's, let's get, get in. Let's just it. get in. No, let's One just... thing I did see, because yeah. I had a tiny glance, but I didn't read all of them because yeah. I wanted to keep it fresh for the video. Lots of people were like, who is the donor? And I was like, yeah. imagine if I was like, oh, it's oh, Tom Holland. Good. Okay, first question. Okay, any strange, um, unexpected cravings? Yes, basically, I have such a sweet tooth and I love chocolate. I love chocolate biscuits it's like an, it's a, a, a renowned fact around the world yeah you love a chocolate biscuit i could not she eat got the anything egg. sweet so basically my algorithm after my first trimester was just salted beef pizza it yeah. was really lasagna. just red meat spaghetti that's bolognese what, that's what i got it's not a competition mcdonald's i wanted lasagna i wanted spaghetti but it wasn't really chocolate but you love hair. savory like normally though whereas i'm like i take sweet i'm like yeah i love yeah, sweet no, food savory's the best. but um do you remember that one night where i spent two and a half hours hitting Interesting spaghetti bolognese. Yes. Did we use the same donor? And we did use the yes. same donor for Ziggy and yes. your baby. So Ziggy's gonna have another sibling. Ziggy and the baby will be related. They'll mm -hmm. be half siblings, different mm -hmm. mums, same donor. Because someone Maybe. wrote on a video. Rose used a different donor, I could just tell. How can people? <laughs> I, do you know what I love? Do you know what? I'm starting to actually love the internet. It's, it's just so. It's hilarious like, to like, me. It's like Alice in Wonderland, it really is. It's really like, what's gonna come out like, next? Like, I, could, I just know it. Have we got a name for the baby? Yes. We've really struggled with names. I find names really difficult because I get the ick so quickly. Uh, and then I'll be like, yeah, it's, and then I'm like, no. And the worst thing is when you tell a family member your desired name and their lacklustre response makes you want to die inside. And then you suddenly go, I'd say I'm a hundred thousand percent on the first, first name. Hundred thousand. Like it is. That's the name now. Yeah. And so yeah. I don't know what I'll do if that if we get the ick or something. We're because, not going to get the ick. But, but, but I think the reason we're not getting the ick is that we're not telling anybody. Yeah. Because that immediately just, gives me ick. it gives me the ick. What the I'm going to do is hopefully the child will be born, and then we'll be like its name is. And everyone will go, oh, it's perfect. I go, yeah. thanks. Yeah. Although my mum will probably go, very nice. Will your children be able to contact their sperm donor and how do you feel about that? In England, the rules are that you have to have a non-anonymous sperm donor, which means they are contactable, yeah. which we support. I support that. I think that every person has the right to their ancestry and mm. they deserve that knowledge. In some cases, people think that like, the donor information is like a bit of a taboo subject. Mm. Like, oh, do you want them to know they're like a? Sp it's like, no, no, we love yeah. our sperm donor. Yeah. I don't ever have a problem talking about our sperm donor, mm. or, or there's no or, mystery. Or talk, there's no mystery, or talking to Ziggy about a sperm donor. No. Like, we love that guy. Like, yeah. he's given us life. He's given us yeah. Ziggy, and we've he's done a great thing. I loved his profile. I love his pictures. I love what he looks like. I love his ethos. I love his beliefs. His I values. Love his values and his ethics. And I think he's fantastic. Your parents actually, before Ziggy was born, got us this. Amazing book for gay mums. Oh, it was yeah. incredible. And then it was like a family bit, tree. Family book and it has a, a bit for your donor. So you can say it where says, I know, what, I know where it is, so don't panic. But it goes like, My donor is. And then you put the donor's name Perfect. in, you can put a picture in, you Tom can, Holland. You can put why I chose my donor. Is that about Bradley Cooper? Bradley Co yeah. So we're, yes. Yeah, we're gonna just be very open with our children, obviously, and I think that's the way mm. forward is to be open. And this is also another reason why I did IVF because we were running out of sperm, and everyone knows what well, they hopefully do now that if you do IVF as opposed to IUI, your sperm goes further. Yeah. So you can hopefully, in theory, make more embryos and have more chances. Yes. Um, and we didn't really want to change our sperm donor. I mean, it's something that you we could have. I could have, and it's something that I would have done if I had to. But we you know, it was to. my preference to to try and have the same one because I. I love Ziggy so much and I get a big kick out of seeing things in Ziggy and things in my baby that might be, you know, you yeah, know, they might they, they might they, carry traits of the donor. Yeah, which which for me is lovely. You also, know? though, it's another connection to me and you because yeah. obviously because we're not a man and a woman having a baby what? like that. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> we we you know it's a way that we my blood connects. Yeah. yeah. So we love this guy. He's allowed us to have a family together. So. Yeah. That's no problem. And Rosie, speaking of sperm donors, this video is sponsored by Surfshark. Yes, it is. In case you didn't already know, Surfshark is an app or browser extension that lets you place your laptop or device anywhere in the world and lets you access the internet as if you're in that country. This means you can use Surfshark to globally stream all your favourite shows no matter where you are. Surfshark is a VPN that doesn't keep logs, meaning it doesn't monitor, store or keep track of your online whereabouts or actions. 
in any way. Surf in a clean cyber ocean with no ads, trackers, malware or phishing attempts. Oh, I caught a sperm donor. I went, to, I went to be caught, but you... Surfshark is a VPN that offers one account to use on an unlimited number of devices. So secure your privacy with Surfshark. So use our code Rose and Rosie for an extra three months for free using the link in the description box below. Surfshark even offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out for yourself. Biggest pregnancy fear? It's not the birth, because obviously I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Um, well, I guess my body changing isn't a fear, but it's something that I have to cope with. Yeah. Because... I'm a control freak, I've got OCD. Because my clothes don't fit, I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I'm out of control mm. growing and it's freaking me out a little bit. But mm. I think that's normal and I don't care if it's not. I think it's really <laughs> it's scary for us because things like Ambrose normally has like small boobies and things like that. Yeah, I don't have really that now. It's, it's like so it's looking at your changing. body, you're, you're like looking at someone you don't recognize. And mm. for me, that's a little bit uncomfortable. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm embracing it. I kind of like mm. it. Mm. I do quite like them. Yeah, I like them too. <laughs> My dad's in the other room. <laughs> How do you think the roles will change between you and Rosie? I think that it's kind of different because we've already got a child. It is different. I, think I it's don't feel for me. like you. Yeah, I don't feel like you're going to necessarily feel like the other mother. I feel. I think you're going to feel like the mother of two yeah. children. Well, so Whereas you, you have me, to feel like because the well, because there was such a distinction because you'd had a biological child and I had a miscarriage. I did feel a little bit like. Do, do, am I a bit, you know, mm. am I am I a mum for a while? And that's the truth. I did. I, I, I felt a bit fraudulent to be like, yeah, I've got a son. I thought, oh, I didn't. Uh, uh, can I say that? You no. know. But but now I feel like because you've had Ziggy, and I'm having this babe, I just feel like um, it's more, and we've got more experience as well mm. being parents. I feel like there's going to be less of a. A, ch a difference in roles, really. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to be breastfeeding. That's going to help. I, I think that I think that's going to help. Rose wants to try for breastfeeding, and mm. I think I think that was something that made it hard for the other mother actually, because yeah. she's exclusively breastfed. Do you know? If Just I like turn back time, a man as well. Dads feel yeah, like that. Dads you know? feel like, if I turn back time, I probably can't be feed, uh, so you could feed Siggy more, and he was that mean? Feed them with formula as well as breast milk. Do you? Yeah. Could I not have just fed him your breast milk? You did. You you used to. Do you yeah, I did. It was really days. sweet. But I just didn't like pumping. No, that's fair. So I uh, next. If no I one likes to be milked like others. I hate. I think I I'm gonna love that. Be, I hated pumping. <laughs> it made me angry. Probably just the P N D. Yeah. How long did the whole IVF process take? Um, it took, it a, took while. a while. I started February 2023. My blood platelets were elevated and really high and, and and they had to make sure that sorted itself out. I had COVID, I had norovirus, I had rotavirus. And it, and it affected And it bloods. affected my bloods because I was just so ill from the nursery. Well, how, you injected, Nearly, you did a short protocol which was injecting for about three weeks. Yeah, I had my eggs collected the 28th of August. But then... So I decided to do a frozen embryo transfer for my next cycle. Then I waited for my natural cycle to ovulate. I didn't ovulate. And then I ovulated too late and I couldn't get this right. I was getting really frustrated. So then I did a medicated cycle which basically just means you're medicating your ovulation. So we changed the plan. Uh, we were doing changed naturally. The plan. Then we did it medicated. So, so it took about a year. So one thing I will say about IVF is that there are so many variables for so many different people that you can't say that one rule will fit everybody because it just won't. Do you feel you've got a better work-life balance now we've got children? Yes, because I've been forced to have more rests because I felt yeah. so poorly. Someone asked if you were resting and looking after yourself. I, I actually she am. Is. I found that quite difficult at first, but then I was like, oh, do you know what? I just have to. Like, there were some nights where I was like, I, I, I physically cannot move. I'm so tired. How do you feel going into it after seeing Rosie give birth? Oh, I won't be doing that. Yeah. So many people were like, a little bit of advice. And I was like, come on, don't have a C-section. And I was like, I won't then. <laughs> Natural birth, C-section. They both suck, yeah, don't they? Do. they? Both, they both, both, they both, both suck. Because you're getting a human out of your body. Mm, no stressful. one's going to go, this is so great. How do you feel about having a Virgo baby? I said to Linda, <laughs> I said, very upsetting. I said Linda Blacker, right, my best friend. And um, she is a Virgo. Don't I know it, right? That's <laughs> why well, me and Linda are like this, right? And I was like, oh, Linda, it's due the 1st of September, it's a Virgo. And she went, ah. I went, yeah, no, you don't have to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. We're fine with it, aren't we, Rosie? We're really happy. We're fine. It would have been my choice. Is it harder being the one pregnant or being the wife of the one pregnant? <laughs> being the wife of the one pregnant. And to all those people in the owl chat those years ago, they'll never make it. Probably right. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box below if you want to check out Surfshark and use our code Rose and Rosie for an extra three months for free. <laughs>